Welcome to another episode of You Are A Lot, an ADHD podcast. I'm your host, Jen Kirkman. Today, procrastivity and perfectionism. Let's jump right in, and I am going to define the slang word procrastivity. I did not make it up, but it is a word that is out there in the ADHD zeitgeist. The definition is a primary presenting problem in ADHD that causes help seeking. The real word is productive procrastination. Like, I feel good because I'm doing something productive. Then later, you beat yourself up. Maybe you're more stressed out now because you are closer to the deadline and you haven't done the thing you need to be doing. Basically, procrastivity is being in a cycle of doing low-priority tasks that can lead to, quote, wasted time and more frustration as you do not get the thing done that you need to get done, whether it's a work deadline or packing for a trip or making dinner or cleaning or whatever it is. You know, when you decide, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go through my contacts and I'm going to clean up any duplicates and... You know, I'm going to start putting people's birthdays into my contact section. You know, things that's like, yeah, that's great. That's a super organized thing to do. But you have a presentation due tomorrow and your job is on the line if you don't do a good job. Then, you know, but you're prioritizing clearing up your contacts. Now, it makes sense with the ADHD brain, in my humble opinion, because again, We are low on dopamine. It's just the simplest way to put it. It really actually has more to do with our dopamine receptors. Don't work like a neurotypical brain, but just the simplest way to think about it is we're low on dopamine, that feel-good chemical. When it's at high, high, high amounts, obviously, you're falling in love. You're, you know, whatever. But day-to-day, just the constant drip of dopamine in a regulated brain allows you to do rather boring things that you may think, oh, this is boring, but it's not torturing you. That's how a neurotypical gets through their day. They are not tortured. They may be a little bored. They're fine with it. The ADHD brain is so tortured by the boredom that the brain believes that something bad is going on and the brain must help you avoid that bored feeling. Our dopamine receptors aren't quite working. The thing we don't want to do is just... Oh, it is causing us so much angst. And sometimes doing these little procrastivity things, making a to-do list, cleaning up this thing over here, returning emails that aren't urgent, they do provide a little hit of dopamine because we do something, we've accomplished it. Ooh, that in and of itself is a little bit of a reward. But... It has nothing to do with the thing that we need to be doing, so it doesn't actually get us closer to doing what we need to be doing. And so, yes, we may get those little dopamine hits. I'm not really leading to anything unless we make a choice that it's time to now work on what we need to work on. Now let's define perfectionism. I'm sure you all know this by now, but in case you don't, Perfectionism does not mean that you are someone that double checks their work and doesn't want to turn it in unless it's perfect and you do everything perfectly and you achieve perfection. That is different. That is more in line with what type A is. Perfectionism is often you can't even get started on something because you're thinking if you don't do it perfectly, there's no point in doing it at all. What ADHD people suffer from is something called front-end perfectionism, which is you're not just thinking, well, this presentation I've got to make for work tomorrow has to be perfect, so I'm not even going to start it because uh, if it's not perfect, what's the point? That's perfectionism. Front-end perfectionism is I'm going to do the presentation. I'm going to work on it tonight. But first, I need the perfect environment. I need my living room to be perfectly cozy. You know what? Let me uh, go buy some scented candles and 
and you know what? I need to clean this up over here. Let me do my laundry because I just want to feel like all the clothes are hanging up when I'm getting ready. You know, you're just, it's getting ready to get ready. Of course, our time management skills suck. And now it's midnight and you've spent eight hours in a hyper focus getting your place perfect so that you can sit down and feel really ready to focus on your presentation. And now, oops, it's time for bed. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with saying, no, I really cannot focus with all this clutter on the table. And I, you know, like there's nothing wrong with enjoying the space you're in and making it nice for yourself. But when you're spending all your time getting ready to get ready to do something, that's when you're stuck in the front end perfectionism. All right, what the hell do you do about this? Because one thing you shouldn't do is read these time management books written by neurotypicals. Oh, do this first, do that. I have, I think, some fun options for you that are from ADHD specialists. Again, they may not be up your alley, but I found some of these approaches kind of cool because I hadn't heard of them before. Let's go back to the definition of ADHD, and this is from Dr. Russell Ramsey. He is an ADHD expert. He's written many books. I will link to his work in the show notes. Here is his definition of ADHD, and that helps us see how it relates to procrastination and why we're so good at it. An issue of self-regulation bundled under the executive functions. Executive function with self-regulation. Dopamine deficiency. Reward deficiency. A neurodevelopmental syndrome of self-dysregulation. A chronic delay in the onset in the efficient self-regulation capacity and skills. The executive functions. Quote, I know I can do it. I just don't know if I will do it. Struggle with Consistent inconsistency. I know I can do it, but I don't know if I will do it when I absolutely must do it. And as he reminds us, ADHD is not a knowledge problem. We know what we need to do, but it's a performance problem. We know how to do what we need to do. We just don't know when or how we're going to gear up to do what we need to do. This was something new to me that I'm about to read to you that Dr. Russell Ramsey talks about, that in order to make some headway with not procrastinating, the concept of self-efficacy is important. So let's look at the definition of self-efficacy before we talk about why it's important. With activities that we do, we have a belief that we can get it all done. So something like mowing the lawn that takes a long time, even if it's as long as 90 minutes, if you finish it, you can see that it's done. You knew what the stopping point was. All the grass is shorter. And then that feeds into your belief of your own self-efficacy. In other words, I am efficient. I can get things done. I am skilled. Dr. Russell Ramsey says that people with ADHD, when we're talking about procrastination, we have an impaired self-regulatory efficacy. Okay, so what the efficacy does that mean? 